I wanted to talk about your um, relationship with Cuba as well, because you, with Brownswood you've done the uh, uh, um, Havana Cultura uh, project, and also sort of Marla uh, going to Cuba as well. I mean, uh, what what sort of what what drove you to sort of go there? That was so good to be able to get the opportunity in twenty. 20- tend to go somewhere so exotic and to be funded by you know a good partner the kind of thing that island records would have done in the 70s or the kind of thing that doesn't really happen in record companies anymore because they don't see it financially making sense so for me to be able to get a partnership with uh, um, Havana Cultura the website and for them to ask me to put together an album that could sort of showcase a new generation of Cuban artistry and talent and stuff was just brilliant because I'd never been to Cuba I'd always been quite fascinated by all the rhythms and heritage of Cuban music and to be able to go over there with some experts who could introduce me to you know what was going on there and then not just in the hotel or lobbies but you know in the suburbs and you know where the real sort of grit of the music was was incredible for me and so over the six or seven journeys we made two or three records and it's been a really great great you know satisfying creative process for me and it was made even better last year when when I went over there with Mala and we did an album a sort of parallel album I did it in one room and he had the other room next door and so all the artists that went through my studio would eventually go in his studio and he'd do his interpretation of Cuba and Jamaica and sound system culture all in one and uh, that album just came out recently what was amazing as well about all that was we, we, we did a couple of trips with Mala over there and there is a club culture in Cuba I mean there's not it's not obviously as developed as it would be in other parts of the world but a lot of people have travelled and have brought music back and so you know people like even Ricciardo over Villa Lobos will play in Cuba you know they have electronic festivals and stuff but they've never had anything like dubstep of course they've got their own reggaeton sound but so when Mala came with his uh, dub plates and stuff we put on a party and uh, it was amazing and, and, and then he did another party the second time and twice as many people came and, and then he came again this year and I think a couple of thousand people turned up so in a way, he's it's been a great thing it's because we've taken out of Cuba, but we've also given to Cuba what we have from here. So um, yeah, it's been a really um, a really good experience. Because there is that temptation, I guess, with, with someone like that. I mean, it's the, it's, I guess it's the kind of old world music sort of view, perhaps yeah. that that um, you know you should preserve the music that's there. And I guess with with things like Buena Vista Social Club and things like that, it was all about kind of bigging up these old sort of stars of yeah. the, the thing that's always fascinated me about your music and the approach to your shows and things like that is the power of the remix and that seems to be where the sort of creativity happens as right. it were it's right. kind of thing yeah. uh, and and the cover version as well it's a big yeah. thing for you yeah um do you sort of see as yourself you sort of said that was a start of where brownswood came from with that remix that you with that cover version that you heard do you think that's Oh, yeah. That's something that keeps you oh, yeah. sort of spark for you? Yeah, no, I mean, well, look, music of all sorts, new, old, heritage, great songs you've never heard before, some old rockabilly tracks that you just heard, you know, in that shop in Shoreditch or wherever. I don't know, whatever. I mean, you just constantly, you know, the music, I mean, I'm just lucky. I do a show on the radio. I can get away with what I want to get away with. I can play brand new exclusives from hot flush record label that they send me or from a full tet or from a Daphne or I can find some old analogue Africa re-release of some killer music from Colombia or Sierra Leone I don't know that was, that, it's just it's constant the music and I've got so many great people around me that I've like you know, known and learned about through the years people like Lefto and Sinbad and, and you know all these guys who are just mad music fanatics and they're just like collating and could get so oh Giles were like that and they're sending me this so how can I just say I mean I'm just like my biggest problem for me to be honest with you as a DJ is like I was just doing some gigs this weekend in Brussels and in Toulouse and I had two hour sets and it's really hard to put what I am into two hours sometimes you know I need now, now when I get booked to do gigs in a way I play all night because then I can satisfy the people who come and listen to me 
because I get a whole gen different generations of people as well. I get weirdos who just want to hear me play what I was playing at Electric Ballroom in Camden in 1988, you know, and then I get other people who want to hear me play like drum and bass and or that set that I was playing at sort of Glastonbury in the dance stage or Big Chill, you know, there's, you know, people who want to hear me play Brazilian stuff. Oh yeah, Giles is an expert on Brazilian. Well, I'm not, but I just play a bit of it. So, but then I'm really, my main thing is like, you know, I'm a club culture guy. I was there, I was there, you know, I was there in Sherman. I was there at the Royal Oak. I was there uh, at the Weekenders in New York at Body and Soul. And, and I love the heritage of dance music. And, 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 and I'm, you know, I, I hold that very close to my heart. And I think I have to, as a DJ, I feel that I have a responsibility to represent a certain way of playing and a certain attitude to being a DJ, which comes back from the Larry Levans and the Francois Kavalkians and the Louis Vegas and you know all of that the Morris Fultons and the Detroit scene all that is really important to me and I think that you know when I go and play in certain clubs particularly in places like in Japan you go there and they have so much of admiration and respect for the traditions of dance music and I feel that I'm on part of my duty as a DJ is to remind people where it's coming from. And I think that's how I am with DJing and with music. It's kind of like a mixture of, um, of you know, okay, this is really great, this track by James Blake that's just come out on a blog, but actually there's a really good link to this track there which has inspired it. And, you know, and, and for me it's like, that's how I like to do it. And luckily, you know, I'm still totally, I couldn't live without the new music, and that's why I live in London as well. Because London is just the best place for for the constant movement and constant action in music. So you can't sleep in London, really. And so I have to represent that. So that brings us rather neatly into uh, what can we expect from the Brown Brownswood Christmas party? <laughs> well, this year has been such an amazing year for me and uh, for the label and for the festival that I do in France and a lot of good reasons to be excited about a Christmas party and I didn't really want to do anything that was going to be um, nothing short of amazing, you know, just to celebrate a great year. So. I've just had a brilliant year, there's been amazing music out this year, um, it's got across to more and more people, I've got my top DJ who's coming with me who I think's become, you know, he's about to become the big, big superstar DJ, which is DJ Lefto, and uh, in fact I'm going to get, get, I'm going to try and get on a bit earlier, because so he's, too, you can't, you can't play after him, he's too good, it's one of those, it's one of the, in the beginning I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, no, but he's amazing, so I think it's going to be a platform for us to have a really great night and, uh, and, and celebrate what an amazing year it's been.